Good day viewers and thanks for tuning into Polymer Update TV, the world's first and the only TV network with a free petrochemicals news show. You are watching the Petrochemical Market Synopsis with me, Tarkeshwar Nayak. It's Thursday, October 6th. Let's start with energy news. Crude oil prices gained sharply on Wednesday as oil producing members of OPEC and their non-OPEC allies known as OPEC Plus Alliance decide to slash crude oil production by 2 million barrels per day from November 2022. The rise in prices was also driven by fall in US fuel inventories. Brent crude prices rose by USD 1.57 settling at USD 93.37 per barrel, while WTI futures increased by USD 1.24 settling at USD 87.76 per barrel. On Wednesday, open SPAC NAFTA prices rose sharply by USD 22 per metric ton at USD 704 per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Before we move on to feedstock news for Asia, Europe and USA, please do click on the bell icon to subscribe to our free news channel and if you like today's video, please remember to like this video by giving up a thumbs up. It motivates us to continue to bring you this free informative news services on daily basis. Back to feedstock news for Asia, Europe and USA. In Europe on Wednesday, propylene prices gained owing to lift in regional buying sentiments. CIF Northwest Europe propylene prices on Wednesday were assessed at Euro 525 to 535 per metric ton levels, an increase of Euro 20 per metric ton from Tuesday. Spot polymer grade propylene prices on Wednesday were assessed at the Euro 550 to 560 per metric ton FD Northwest Europe levels, a rise in Euro 25 per metric ton from Tuesday's assessed levels. In Europe on Wednesday, ethylene prices fell on the back of weak regional buying sentiments. In Asia on Wednesday, ethylene and propylene prices were assessed steady. In the United States on Wednesday, ethylene prices quoted steady while polymer grade propylene prices edged lower and refinery grade propylene prices were assessed stable. In plant news, Taekwong Industrial is in plans to operate its PDH plant in Ulsan, South Korea at around 75% of production capacity levels in October 2022. The reason behind the production cut could not be ascertained. The plant has a propylene capacity of 300,000 metric ton per year. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. This is Polymer Update with me, Tarkeshwar Nayak from Mumbai. Many thanks for watching.